Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel is English by Sujata. This is very important video that I am making on rules for speaking English. Everyone desires to speak in English, right? Yes, many of us desire to speak in English. But unless we know the rules, what the rules to be followed to become fluent in English, how can we speak fluent English? Can't, right? Yes. If you are watching my channel for the first time, do subscribe my channel, like it, share it and subscribe it. Thank you. Now let us see what are the rules to be followed to become fluent in English. There are five rules I had given here. See the, what is the first rule in that. Don't study grammar too much. Yes, right. What you listen to is right. Don't go to grammar too much. And when you focus on grammar, what happens? You will be just confused whether you are constructing a sentence correctly. Your mind uh, will be focused on correction of the sentences, on the grammar, correct grammar construction. And if your mind focus on that, how, what about the fluency? See, coming to this point, uh, take English speakers. Nearly, uh, they hardly know 20%, more than 20% grammar. But I see how they are speaking. The native English speakers, they don't know 100% grammar. They know only 20 or more than 20%, that's it. Just you can ask any English speakers about grammar. No, but how they speak? The fluency, no? very fantastic fluency. But focus on the fluency, how they are speakers, the native speakers are speaking. The slang, the accent, everything, you focus on that. Right? That is the first point you need to do. What happens if you focus? Just you will be confused. Right? Now the second point. Learn and study phrases. You know what is a phrase? Phrase is a group of words. Group of words that give sense. And now phrase is group of words. See, many people know they, they focus on vocabulary. Yes, you, you do focus on vocabulary, no problem in that. But if you want to become fluent in English, you should not focus on the words, gathering the words. Yes, you can gather, but you shouldn't completely focus on that. For example, you know thousand words. Unless you know one sentence construction, one phrase, phrase construction, is there any use of that? No, no. So, knowing thousands of words is no of no use. Right? So, focus on the phrases. For example, I take wake up in the morning. This is a phrase. This group of words, wake up in the morning. Right? So, if you learn this one, wake up in the morning. Okay? I wake up in the morning. With this one construction, you can... Uh, construct nearly hundreds of sentences, hundreds of phrases. With one phrase, you can really construct hundred phrases. How you see? Wake up in the morning. I wake up in the morning. I don't wake up in the morning. I often wake up in the morning. I seldom wake up in the morning. I often and I seldom wake up in the morning. So rare I wake up in the morning. Okay? Do you wake up in the morning? Do you wake up? Do they wake up in the morning? So, if we know the phrase, the group of words to pronounce correctly, then we can use this in different situations. If you know one phrase, then you can construct many phrases. Unless you know one phrase knowing thousands of words of no use, thousands of vocabulary, no use. So, focus on phrases. Focus on the sentences. Right? So knowing one phrase, you can construct a hundred phrases and knowing hundred phrases, thousand phrases you can construct. Easily, you can become fluent in English. You can become master in fluency. Knowing thousand phrases is not an ordinary thing, right? So learn and study phrases, not words. And now, in this only, don't translate. Translation, you see, if you cannot directly translate from mother tongue to English because the order changes. 
ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ ఐ సే ఇన్ తెలుగు చెట్టు కింద ప్లీడర్ దెర్ ఇస్ అ లాయర్ అండర్ ద ట్రీ వీ కెన్ సే లాయర్ కమ్స్ బిఫోర్ ద ట్రీ గోస్ బ్యాక్ చెట్టు హియా కింద ప్లీడర్ లెటర్ సో డోంట్ ట్రై టు ట్రాన్స్లేట్ మదర్ టంగ్ టు ఇంగ్లీష్ you cannot talk well so the order changes in order and you will apply grammar rules while translating from mother tongue to english what your mind do it it tries to translate and it, while translating it tries to apply the grammar rules the mind is completely grabbed on the grammar rules you cannot focus on the fluency so there are two minus points in this order changes and you will apply only grammar rules the expression you couldn't give right so don't translate from mother tongue to english learn english as english learn phrases and learn phrases as they are you can speak you can speak out knowing one phrase you can speak nearly more than 10 phrases of your own right guys this is the second one and see the third one practice speaking what you hear you have to practice speaking what you hear see when you go to school what they teach you first they teach you reading right when you, when you are joined in lkg ukg they teach you first to read how to read a letter how to read words you know and letter listening letter speaking and letter writing so r l s w is the process in the schools but what is the natural order l s r w listen listening speaking reading writing first you listen see the babies when they are born in the 1 to 2 years they start speaking right the mother tongues when they start speaking do they speak words or phrases they do speak phrases not words amma kavali is a phrase not word nen velta okay nanna edi where is dad where is the word dad is a word i want mom amma kavali is is a phrase not word so from our childhood we started speaking listening to what others speak and we start speaking phrases not words start that way start speaking phrases start using phrases not words right so follow the natural order first you listen then try to speak as it is listen to the professionals listen to the speakers listen to the native speakers okay and then repeat after that aloud whatever you listen you have to say it aloud your mind uh, scrutinizes na the sentence and it learns but what about the pronunciation and all how do you get how do you get the expression facial expression the words speak only in hardly 20% what about the re- remaining percent remaining 80 the facial gestures and all so how to express those you have to speak it out speak it out with expressions then start reading their letter writing while reading also you can learn but listening and speaking they play a major role in getting fluency in english right this is the third step what is that practice speaking what you hear what you hear you have to practice it out say it aloud okay now see the fourth one submerge yourself in english submerge yourself in english okay here i want to give you an example suppose you have been to america okay and there and uh, what do you think if you are if you are going to america and you are going to stay there in america what do you think yes i'm going to learn uh, fluent english and um, no doubt without any doubt right suppose you had been there and you got a telugu friend there as a neighbor or as a colleague you got a telugu friend there and you have started with him in telugu you, you you often meet him and you often talking with him in telugu only and when you return when you see yourself after 6 months or one year will there be any development in your language in your speaking 
and uh, another example i give you suppose we are here in india okay two people from malayalam at the kerala two people from tamil and two from maharashtra and two from andhra pradesh we ten are staying in a room so no one knows the other language and other than the mother tongue they need to speak only english can you learn english there where can you speak english well here in india along with the other people the other eight people or in america with the same colleague telugu colleague there is no place where you are okay in india also you can le- you can learn the fluent english so you have to submerge yourself you have to uh, sink in that sink yourself submerge yourself in english the, the your surrounding should be english how can you make that to search in the net na you, there are many ways so try to submerge yourself in english not with telugu put conditions conditions to your friends let us talk from today onwards only in english let's not skip to telugu or let's not skip to mother tongue okay as much as possible let's try so joyfully you can playfully you can learn speaking good english right now see the fifth one study correct material this is very important suppose you have learned a wrong construction and you started practicing it practice makes man perfect in incorrect constructions right so study correct material catch correct material catch correct uh, english then you practice it unless you take correct english correct material that leads you to a wrong way so this is also very important learn from the standards learn from the professionals learn from the native speakers right so take the correct material and start learning these are the five guys you need just you follow these then you can be really become fluent in english right and uh, this is all about the rules for english speaking how many rules i had given here five rules five rules for english speaking hope this video could be much helpful to you take care bye bye